I'm gonna answer the question if high school athletes should take creatine and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, I'm Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you are interested in everything based around becoming a better athlete, you wanna learn how to improve your explosiveness. You wanna get a little bit stronger and you wanna improve your coordination, make sure you comment down below, you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell. So for years, athletes have been asking me, is creatine an anabolic steroid? Is it legal to take creatine? Is the NCAA, do they ban the use of creatine? If I'm on creatine, am I gonna test positive for, for steroids? Is it an anabolic? And all of these questions are all based around horrific misinformation. We've gotta recognize that creatine is one of the most researched supplements on the planet. Outside of caffeine and whey protein, I believe that creatine is in that third spot as far as sports nutrition and research is concerned. So that brings up the question, why is there so much negativity behind the realm of creatine. And I believe that a lot of this negativity was sparked in the mid to late 1990s when Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, all these guys that were on the gas, that were on steroids back in the day that were taking androstenedione and, and all these other anabolic agents, even though andro is not even that effective, they were also taking creatine. You know, there was a Sports Illustrated article about Mark McGuire and that he had creatine up in his in his locker. And then later on, it was it was you know confirmed that he was on anabolic steroids, and people made a negative association without even recognizing what creatine is. So when we think about what creatine actually is, it's a simple amino acid. It's synthesized from methionine, arginine, and glycine. And what it does is it initiates the usage of ATP, which is our, our muscle cells currency, right? And so if we can look at it from that perspective, all creatine is, is an amino acid. It is not an anabolic steroid. It is not banned by anybody. It is not illegal to use. You won't test positive. And on top of that, it's extremely healthy. It, it's important for cognitive ability. Even in breastfeeding mothers, we've found and we've seen from research from Richard Kreider that breastfeeding mothers tend to give most of their creatine to their babies to help develop their brains. And so women who are breastfeeding actually do quite well when they're taking creatine in relation to postpartum depression and things like this. So it's a phenomenal supplement that has multiple different benefits. And that brings us to should high schoolers use it who are high school athletes? So what are the key positives behind taking creatine? Okay, so some of the research that we've seen from Dr. Stephen Forbes, from Darren Kandow, from Dr. Richard Kreider, all these guys, they're, they're some of the best researchers in the world on creatine and, and their research is constantly coming out. They're constantly updating what they're, they're looking at and they're constantly recognizing all of the crazy benefits behind it. And we know that when we take creatine, we will increase muscle mass a little bit. We also know that we will dramatically improve our power output and we'll improve our rate of force production. And these are very key components to athletic performance but they're also key components to potentially preventing concussions. If I can produce force, if I'm playing a contact sport like wrestling, like lacrosse, like football, uh, if, if I get hit and I cannot produce enough force to protect my neck, to protect my head, my head lashes all over the place and I get a concussion. If I potentially have more muscle mass or I can improve my rate of force development, now I can protect my head a little bit quicker if I'm taking a hit. But on top of that, one of the main questions that comes up is, well, I heard it causes cramps and I heard it does all these terrible things. And this is typically terrible research from the 90s or it's anecdotal research from people who might be utilizing too much caffeine or they're dehydrated and they're taking creatine and they're getting cramps because they're dehydrated, not because of creatine. But currently we know that myogenetic regulatory factors 
are the mechanism that helps prevent cramps and improve that recovery from concussions. So one of those final consistent misinformation myths is creatine. It's it's gonna kill my kidneys. I don't want I don't want my kid to take it because it's gonna hurt my kidneys. And that same person will take their kid to McDonald's or or you know have them slurping down a big Slurpee or big gulp and not think twice. But they'll spread these myths that creatine can hurt kidneys without any documented information. And that is 100% fact. You can go to PubMed and you can search creatine kidney damage or kidney damage from creatine. And there is zero scientific research to back that up. So there is no detrimental effect of taking creatine and that effect that it could potentially have on your kidneys. It's extremely healthy. And so to answer this question, should high schoolers take creatine? I believe yes. I believe that high school kids will actually have a better test score because their cognitive ability will be higher when they're taking creatine. We've seen this in research with MMA fighters. They they have more accurate striking capability because of the creatine in their in their brain. We've seen the same thing from soccer players. They have more accurate striking ability when they're kicking a soccer ball than if they're not on creatine. And these things can factor into that cognitive ability and the ability to focus a little bit more. But furthermore, we've got to remember, it could potentially prevent concussions and it 100% improves the rate of recovery from concussions. So I believe if you're in high school and you're playing a contact sport, you absolutely should be probably forced to take creatine for your own safety, for the safety of the brain that is developing in these teenagers. We've got to help these kids and we've got to recognize that it's extremely healthy and it's an important supplement for them to take to protect themselves. Now, how do you take it? It's pretty simple. It's a powder. I recommend 0.1 grams per kilogram of body weight. So if you weigh 100 kilos, you would take 10 grams. So that's 220 pounds. You would take 10 grams. It's very simple to take. You can take it post-workout with milk. You can take it post-workout with 30 to 50 grams of protein, and that's going to optimize your ability to absorb it, and it's going to increase your usage of creatine long-term. Do you have to cycle on or off creatine? That's another often asked question, and I believe that you do not have to actually cycle off creatine, but if you are a, an athlete who's an endurance runner or a swimmer and you gain weight on creatine, it's important to know that because of that increase in muscle mass, you might gain weight. So as a coach, you've got to recognize like, hey, we're, we're competing in a weight class or we're competing as a distance runner. So two weeks out, let's take let's take creatine out of your out of your nutrition. The, the creatine saturation levels will still remain high enough to notice a benefit after those two weeks. And on top of that, you might lose a little bit of weight, which is going to increase your output as far as if you're a distance runner or a swimmer or if you're a wrestler competing in a weight class. So that's where cycling comes into play. You don't technically have to cycle off, but you have to manage, okay, if you have a little bit of weight gain, you might want to cycle off, but you don't also don't have to. So if you want more information behind creatine, I recommend going to PubMed, searching for creatine research, finding Stephen Forbes, finding Darren Kando, learning what the science says, stop spreading that misinformation. Click on this card right here if you want more information behind sports performance and athletic base training. Until next time, guys, peace.